All right, all right. Well, I'm out here today, and it's about 10.30 in the morning, and it's only like 82 degrees out here. Can you believe it? Uh, this is towards the end of August. I guess the midway into August, actually. And, uh, ah, I mean, it feels great. I mean, I'm, I'm not out here boiling. So, while the weather is nice, it's kind of, you know, pretty much cloudy and stuff. I don't think it's supposed to rain. Uh, but while it's nice and cool out here, I'm going to tackle this little project. So let me show you what I got. So you see my trailer is full of this iron. Uh, of all this steel and sorry sorry if the uh, if the audio kind of sucks it's pretty windy out here and there's traffic going by but, uh, but as you can see I have all this steel some of it has been welded it was a real long table and gauging by the end of this this is about an eight foot long trailer uh, eight by five, so this is probably a four by eight uh, table. And it's been welded together, and it looks like it had mounts for uh, uh, for casters or whatever. I don't know what it was used for, but then there's a ton of this leftover steel. Uh, a lot of bars. It looks like they had cut this up for something um, and had made this. But I picked it up, and this was uh, before February, so it was before, this was before I had uh, had my little episode with my back, and I was able to load it up, but then I had my deal with the back, and I have not been able to unload this thing all this time. Uh, And I've missed out on some, I, I've really needed this trailer, you know, <laughs> but I had no way of getting the steel off of here. So during this whole time from February through, uh, through now, through August, it's been sitting out here in, in the weather and you can see all the rust and everything that's on it. Uh, now it was kind of rusty when I got it, but you can tell it's really, it's really getting pretty bad. So I'm going to try some stuff and see if it'll work. Uh, I've seen others use this and I've seen some other videos and it's the stuff that uh, that you take this stuff, rust converting metal primer and, and you just take it and brush it on and, and apparently it's supposed to turn very dark or very black and if it doesn't then you, you gotta put another coat on and that's when you know that it is dug down and uh, converted all of the rust over so while the weather's good I'm at least gonna start trying to get you know the visible stuff that I can see here and uh, and then turn everything over as I can but well let's get started and see what it looks like when I'm applying it all right so I just poured it into my little this little plastic container and you can see the brush I'm using is just a, a crappy little brush that it's disposable. Uh, has like a milky a milky substance to it, but it but it looks like it 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 clings to stuff, right? You can see over here where it's clinging to the sides, it's clinging to the brush. Uh, and the smell, I can't quite place it. It reminds me of something. I'll think of it here in a second. Yeah, that's weird. It's, uh, it smells like something very familiar and I can't place it. But let's see what it looks like when I'm brushing it. See how long it takes to start changing any color. You 
And I'm going to do it quite fast because uh, cosmetic wise, I'm not too worried about it. I mean, the purpose of me doing this is to get. Ah, don't lift that. The purpose is to get uh, to stop the rust for sure. And. and get it ready for whatever project I'm going to do uh, with all this steel. I first got it, I wanted to put, uh, I wanted to use some of this and make my own uh, welding table, right? And so I want to stop all this rust and make sure it still has some structural rigidity to it. I don't want this thing to uh, bend in half when I put, put a load on it. I'm up here on this post. You probably can't see what I'm doing there. From what I've seen this online from other guys doing it, I was expecting a much quicker response. But here's where I started. Now I'm just dabbing it all over the place here now. Uh, but I don't see any change in color. It's supposed to turn black. And it also serves as a primer. Okay, it says when uh, when black color appears, rust conversion has started. If gray color appears, apply more core seal while still tacky. Brown color indicates chemical contamination. Remove core seal and repeat steps one through four. And it's really prepping. Uh, supposed to get all the dirt and mildew and all that stuff. Well, there's no dirt. It's been on this trailer. Uh, I, I could sand it down, but man, that's the whole point. I'm, I'm trying to do this the easiest way possible. Like this stuff here, that might be kind of tough. Can you see that? All this stuff over here. But, if I can just... Uh, Get this stuff to work. Oh, wait a minute. Let me back up here. So there was a spot here, here, and up in here. Let me show you where it's starting to turn black. You can see that right there. Uh, there's a spot here. You can see in spots where it's starting to, to turn black, and that's great. Yeah, up here. All right, all right. So if it remains gray, you gotta put another coat on it uh, while it's still tacky. And it's all still tacky. It's not. It's not like it's drying up that quick. So I'm gonna continue on and just get all the stuff that I, that's exposed to me right here before I move everything around. Yeah, so this is a lot of stuff to go through. Uh, I'm going to go through and just get all the exposed stuff that I can find. And uh, once that's finished, then then I'll turn everything over and finish it off. And, and I'm probably not going to be able to finish it today. But I at least want to get some of it down. Just to stop all this rust and I don't know what about on the inside I'm sure it's still rusting in there too on the inside of these tubes um, I don't know how I'm going to tackle that yeah 
that was a lot of steel. I just couldn't pass it up, you know. I saw it on Craigslist. And, uh, I forget what he said he did. This was some business that was using it. It was his business. Um, and they had used all this for something. But when it became obsolete and they were hunting for, for space, they decided just to get rid of it. So I picked it up. Alright, well I'm going to keep on going. I'll tune back in once I get a lot of this done and we can see, see what it looks like. Is it turning black and see if it's actually working. All right, well, there is the uh, the first coat, or I wouldn't say first coat. This is just the uh, just the first layer because <laughs> uh, on, on some of these, I did put uh, a second coat over it, something like that right there. Yeah, I'm probably going to go back over and, uh, and brush some more on there. But you can see, as it's on there, it definitely started turning black, and some of it where where it was thick on there has a purplish color to it. Um, but that's it's just not dried off yet. Up here, yeah, that's uh, it's almost all dried up. But you can see where there are spots where you need to go over and and put another coat on before it completely dries up. Yeah. This whole little section here, uh, a little spot there, just a lot of stuff. Over there, I just finished over there. So I would say it is working. I'm kind of pleased. And, and I also did some spots on my trailer. You can see there were some rust spots where pebbles had been uh, hitting the fender. And it, over here on the front yeah you can see all this stuff where I'd uh, brushed over it same thing with that fender so it's working really really well so that's kind of handy this uh, the trailer yeah I should probably get over there on that side too get some of this but this is just uh, this is just this face of it all this stuff I'm gonna try to turn over and uh, and get the underside and I should have well more than enough it's uh how much did I use yeah there's still quite a bit it's probably still up to here so I used maybe two-thirds of it so maybe a quart and a half something like that not quite two quarts, uh, but that's the stuff I'm using. I'm not uh, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, because um, there are a few brands out there, and I look through quite a few of them. And some of them do they claim to do the exact same thing, right? And I'm looking at results from guys, and it's pretty consistent with what I'm doing. After you brush it on and and watch it turn color. Uh, and there's quite a few out there ranging in different prices from you know forty to sixty dollars something like that and I think this was about sixty bucks but sometimes you can find them on sale so keep your eye out for it if you can get it for fifty bucks sometimes you know something like that but uh, but I would say it's well worth it I mean this was a this was a lot of steel that I wanted to save and but it's coming in handy because I'm able to do the trailer at the same time while it's sitting there. <laughs> so it looks like it's doing its job. So I, I don't know when I'm going to have time to, uh, to weld any projects, but at least I have some steel sitting here and I'll put it away eventually. But, uh, but this stuff looks like a good way to, to preserve it for a little while before I get started and I'm sure once I start welding I'll have to get an angle grinder or something and clean off the spots where I'm gonna weld and all that good stuff but this stuff looks like it's doing pretty good and it's supposed to be used as 
it can be used as a primer also once it all dries off I'm sure you know if you wanted to sand it down and uh, paint right over it so yeah so I'm pretty pleased with that stuff it's uh worked out pretty good you can tell it's it's it is actually working it's uh, converting the rust over and you can see the spots where I had to put a couple of layers on it uh, and make sure that it's gonna do its job and turn everything over and do it again so I think this was well worth it uh, give me a chance to preserve some of this steel uh, before because I don't know when I'm gonna have time to, to do all this stuff it's uh, like I said, it's been sitting here for quite a while. I'd wrenched my back, and but now I feel kind of healthy now. Uh, I'm just taking my time. I'm not trying to rush it, but I do need to unload all this stuff and uh, and stash it away somewhere and get it off this trailer. I really, I've really needed it, the trailer, but uh, just had no way of doing it. Uh, so that being said, I know there's. I've been talking about a, a lot of changes coming on, and you can see back there where I'm, I'm trying to finish up some projects and get rid of some stuff and same thing with this I'm trying to get this set aside and uh, get everything organized and put away because uh, I went out and I'm on the workforce again so uh, this opportunity came up and interviewed and I was like you know I'm, I might have to do this it sounds like a pretty intriguing it's gonna be tough but it sounds like an intriguing job and it's with a, uh, a machine shop a uh, uh, manufacturing place and they have their own their products their OEM supplying a lot of uh, bigger companies and stuff and uh, so I'm new their, their new uh, engineering manager and, and I'll be managing the engineering side with guys using Creo and uh, and putting together another tweaking their engineering documentation control and stuff like that so after talking to him I was like you know this this is gonna be a tough one you know <laughs> it's gonna be a tough uh, interesting job but uh, I think I'll be able to reshape that place and who knows if it's a year or two up to five years you know uh, I think the goal is within three or five years I can really make a difference there so so that's what I'm gonna be doing it's uh, so my time is cut short. Uh, I'll still be putting out videos, maybe not twice a week anymore, but hopefully uh, once a week or uh, whatever it takes. But hopefully I'll have some better quality videos too. You know, I'll be able to move into you know doing a lot more welding stuff. I want to uh, do some ATV work, maybe put together my own side by side, uh, that kind of stuff, and just trying to make it through a transition phase right now so that's where I stand and I'm kind of excited about it it's it's a change of pace um, if this channel was growing faster like I had hoped it would uh, then maybe I would have kept on going but um, I know the channel uh, I know I have a, a few uh, loyal subscribers and and I do appreciate that that is fantastic it's just not at the scale I was hoping it would be right now um, but I'll keep going you know because I, I think I I can give some good examples I can put out some better videos so hang in there thank you for subscribing all you guys out there and so I guess that's it for this video and as always thanks for watching be sure to subscribe and watch my next video